I went to the bathroom, I got out my electric toothbrush, and I put on my toothpaste, and it said like, do not put in, like, do not swallow. And it went in my mouth, and then just, I just went like, what's that? Oh, I was like, what did I just do? And I just, I just started shaking. I don't, and I just thought of all the things that could happen. And then your mind, it just starts racing. And ugh, it was horrible. Okay, we're gonna get a little existential here and talk about thinking. Our thoughts are completely imaginary, but also very real. And at any time in your life, your thoughts can be negative. And those negative thoughts tend to set in during middle and high school. And we've all been there. Um, one of like the worst thoughts that I've had were like, you don't belong here. Like you don't belong on this like planet. My mom is the most important person in my, in my life, period. And like, there's just that instinct, do not let her down, do not let her down, you know? Like, maybe I could do better at any time. I'm never gonna get into any colleges because I can't, um, I'm not smart enough. There are so many versions of overthinking. At their best, our thoughts are brilliant and lead to changing the world and making great art or the invention of the ice cream sandwich. But often, they pop up and make it hard for us to be present when we're in the middle of doing something. Like... I, yeah, I overthink how I should do things whenever really it's like simple. Sometimes I daydream about worries, which then leads back to other worries, which leads to daydream. It's just this big, huge cycle. I take a deep breath and it's like, you know what? I've known these people for about a year. They're gonna remember me. It's all, it's all gonna be okay. I start, you know, telling myself like awful things while another person's having a conversation with me. So I'm just like looking and I'm like zoned out listening to this little voice, but I completely forgot about the conversation that I was having. When I'm sitting down, I'm usually looking around, wondering if anybody's watching me, if my friends are watching me, if they're judging me while I eat, like how I eat, or maybe like how my face looks. Like with feelings, your thoughts are there to protect you from things that might happen in the future but they can also get out of control. Even though we don't fully understand where thoughts come from, we know there are ways that you can practice managing your thoughts. I'm telling myself like motivational things in my head. I'm like, okay, you know everything you have to for the, to answer this problem. You just have to try and figure out how to put all those puzzle pieces together. If you're always like thinking bad thoughts about yourself, maybe you could start thinking good thoughts about yourself. Like usually I would like be like, oh, that's so dumb, I'm so dumb, you know? But nowadays I'm just kind of trying to focus on myself and stop self-hate, because I don't know, it's not, there's, there's not really a reason for me to hate on myself, because I can improve myself. So when it comes to our own thoughts, there are three important things to remember. They're not always facts, they are temporary, and you can change them. Be on the lookup for classic negative thought patterns that everyone experiences, like taking things personally or thinking in worst case scenarios. It could be things that aren't even sad. And I'll think like of a, up a scenario that changes it and makes the ending sad. Me and my friends will be playing or talking, and then I'll think, oh shoot, what do they think of me? Do they think of me as a good friend? Or is it just like they don't want to be my friend, they're just being nice to me? Or do people like me in general? I don't remember what joke it was, but I ended up saying something, and they kind of like looked at me, but they didn't laugh. But it wasn't that look like, oh, that wasn't funny. Like it was more of that look where it's like, okay, I don't get it kind of thing. And I feel like I start taking that into different places and I start like telling myself, oh my God, I wasn't funny. Or I must have said something that hurt that person because it's my fault. And I just overthink the smallest things and I turn it into something huge. You'll never be okay with yourself. That's what I've learned. But sometimes you have to accept the fact and you have to point out good things about yourself instead of pointing out the negative things about yourself. So if you ever find yourself falling into a thinking trap or getting lost in your own thoughts, the first step is always to notice the thoughts you're thinking. Remember, they are not facts. Like for me, an unhelpful thought I have a lot 
is that I'm not very good at ending videos. I think I need to be funny or smart or cool, when in reality, there's nothing that I really have to do. It's gonna be totally fine. The video will just end on its own. Is it end? <laughs>